Brush painting. The plate represented here resembles the Ascentinella decoration, with the rooster as its central feature. It is pictured in profile, standing on one leg between two tufts of grass. The figure takes up the entire white background, while the border is fully decorated with a series of repeated blue motifs. Hand-painted decorations were often completed by a threading technique called filettatura, which consisted in tracing, freehand or with the support of a potter's wheel, threads or bands called filetti on the dish borders or along the porcelain body. This fine brush painting technique was mostly carried out by women workers. Colors were prepared in the factory with a blend of mineral or powdered metal compounds, which were subsequently adjusted. Pigments were obtained by using different metallic oxides, iron to obtain different tones of red and auburn, cobalt for deep blue, chrome for green shades, copper gave a range of turquoise green, manganese gave violet and dark purplish colors, and finally antimony provided yellow. With skilled and swift strokes, the decorators designed strikingly expressive subjects. The most typical patterns were fresh and sparkling flowers arranged individually or in a bouquet. White and blue landscapes from the refined Liguria tradition or colorful birds and of course the very popular roosters. In fact, Mondovi pottery is widely known as the rooster pottery figure that the expert and precise hands of women decorators painted with lavish tails that look like colorful fans, and whose brightly colored feathers were decorated with quick and only apparently improvised brush strokes. Stressing the importance of the visual aspect, the production of Mondovi manufacturers was quite eye-catching, with a wide range of extremely original polychrome decorations. If we follow a common thread connecting the rooster representation on Mondovi tableware with other areas, we inevitably arrive in neighboring France, which in fact elected this bird as its iconic symbol. In the 19th century, it was one of the most represented images in ceramic art.